Hey, it's Michael Zapersky from ConsultingSuccess.com. Let's talk about offers. Far too many consultants don't make enough offers. Are you one of them? Are you finding reasons to, to delay? Are you allowing buyers to, to put you off by saying that they need more time or let's talk in six, six weeks or six months or you know later in the year because whatever, whatever, whatever? Are you engaging? Are you challenging buyers? Or are you just letting them off the hook? Many consultants allow buyers to, to deal with the problems that they have far longer than they should be, right? If you really think about it, if you think about why maybe you're not making enough offers, which also would translate into why you're not getting enough or as much business as you would like, it's because you're not challenging buyers. You're letting them off the hook too easily. Or you yourself are maybe scared. You have some fear. Uh, you are worried about being too salesy or being too direct. So you're not making offers to people. But here's the thing. And here's what's really important. I believe that, that you should see if you want to grow and, and have a really successful, thriving consulting business. And that is that you only should make an offer, first of all, and this is what we're talking about, you're only making an offer when you really believe that you can help someone. When you see that they have a problem or they want to achieve something and that you can help them to get there in a more successful way, a more efficient way, where you can provide real value and results for them. If you can't, then don't make an offer and that's not what we're talking about. We're not just saying go around making offers to people and being all promotional to the wrong people. What I'm sharing with you is the idea that when you find someone who has a problem and wants a solution and you can offer it or someone that wants to achieve a certain goal and you can help them to get there, what I'm suggesting to you, my friend, is that it's your responsibility to help them to do that. Because if you just allow them to continue on with the same things or doing the same, like, you know, taking the same steps, just living life the way that they've been until this point, it means that they're going to continue having that problem. Or it means that if you don't make the offer to them, if you don't suggest, hey, um, you know, would it be helpful for you to have this or that or whatever as a next step, then it means that they have to go off and find someone else that can help them. Yet that other person may not be as skilled or as experienced as you are. And so essentially what you're doing is you're allowing this buyer, this prospective client to be underserved or to be served in a way that isn't that efficient and effective for them by working with someone else. So instead, by you making an offer, you're able to actually engage with them, start helping them, ensuring that they get the best quality service, the best quality results. And of course, that helps your business too. So if you're feeling like, oh, I don't want to be too direct. I don't want to be too salesy. I don't want to come across as pushy. Uh, they told me they need a bit, you know, they need a few more months and you just say yes. No, challenge them. You're doing it for their, in their best interest, not just for you. You want to ask them questions like, well, listen, I understand uh, if you need some time to think about it, but you did just tell me that this is, you know, priority number one for you. Or you, you just shared with me that every week that goes by, you're, you're leaving $25,000 on the table or your company's going to lose a million dollars or you have this competitor coming in, they're going to grab more market share. Is it really, do you think it really is okay for, you know, for you and for the business to wait another three months? Or would it make sense to find something that we could do to start moving you forward or making progress in the right direction? Challenge them, engage with them in a professional way. Look for ways to, to serve them. Look for ways to add value and make an offer if you can add value. Not only will it help you to grow your business significantly, but it will help your clients and they'll appreciate you for that. Most people know that they need to do something, but they don't do it because they're used to not doing things. They're used to hesitating or they're overthinking. But instead, if you can show them a first step that they can take that will help them to you know, move forward to get a result that they want, or at least start to get that result, start to see some progress, they'll really appreciate you for that. But you need to have the confidence to suggest that to them. And so my suggestion here to you today, humbly, is, is to 
you know, kind of put on your, your adult shoes, uh, even though you might not be comfortable with it, even though you, you might find reasons to hesitate or there might be some fear for whatever reason, just, you know, strap those shoes on and, and get out there, have those conversations, find ways to add value and, and make offers. And then don't be afraid to challenge buyers when needed to really see if what they're thinking is actually the best thing for them or if there's another step that might be a better step that they could take that's going to get them uh, a result uh, and help them see progress faster.